Well, if you're a New Zealand fan, very good news coming in from Cardiff. Your team has beaten Sri Lanka by 10 wickets in 16.2 overs. If you're a Sri Lankan fan, well, not a very good day. Now, this match, Game 3 of the ICC Cricket World Cup 2019 at the Safaya Gardens, was over inside 46 overs. Hardly the advertisement that the ICC, both teams, or the fans could really have wanted from a match as big as this. I say big because it's the opening match for New Zealand and Sri Lanka. New Zealand, of course, a team which got to the finals of the last World Cup. And Sri Lanka, a team which have really struggled in ODIs this year. In 10 completed matches, they've won one match, and that was against Scotland a few weeks ago. Now, what happened here at Cardiff was that Kane Williamson won a very good toss and had no hesitation in putting Sri Lanka into bat. The surface until yesterday wore a green tinge, but on match day, it was a spicy surface and that played right into New Zealand's hands. Four fast bowlers, Mitchell Santner bowled just two overs, but it was Matt Henry who perhaps lucky to get a game only because Tim Saudi was not fit, took three wickets up front and Lockie Ferguson bowling quick, and I mean quick, accurate, hostile, knocked through Sri Lanka's tail order. The result was a total of 136 and 29.2 overs, which Martin Guptill and Colin Munro made look like a cakewalk as they knocked off 50s to finish the match inside 17 overs. Now, both Martin Guptil, Dimut Kar Karunaratne, Lahiro Tiramani, and Jeevan Mendes, who all spoke after the match at various stages, each said, look, this is just one game. We have eight matches to go. But as of now, New Zealand have made an emphatic statement. Their bowling was tremendous. As I said, the fast bowlers, Henry, Ferguson, they knew exactly what to do. Uh, Sri Lanka's batsmen, you can argue that this was a, an unsettled batting lineup. You have Lahiru Tiramane back in ODIs after what, two years? You have Dimut Karuna Ratne playing ODIs after four years. Um, some people were saying that Angelo Matthews should have batted ahead of Dhananjaya De Silva, uh, being, a, being a more uh, experienced player. But all that on the day matters nothing when you bat as poorly as Sri Lanka did. Um, Tiramane and uh, Jeevan Mendes both said that a couple of days ago when they saw the wicket, they were surprised at how much grass it, it had, but um, they expected it to be shaved off. That was not the case, and as I said, on a lively, spicy Cardiff wicket, it was um, Sri Lanka's fast bowlers that ran Sri Lanka roughshod. Eight matches to go for both teams, but on day on uh, day three of the World Cup, it is definitely New Zealand who made an emphatic statement. How the fortunes of both teams turn out remains to be seen. New Zealand, of course, move on to a different venue. Sri Lanka play Afghanistan here at Safaya Gardens a couple of days from now. And really, if they want to win matches, they had a great learning from Sri Lanka, the, uh, from New Zealand, I'm sorry. They ended up on the losing side, but really um, the way that New Zealand bowl, Sri Lanka have a lot to learn from. If they can replicate that across services in England, they may have a chance of redeeming themselves after a very poor opening match. Stay tuned to Cricket Country for all the updates from the World Cup.